Hey friends, Steve here in downtown Los Angeles and sorry if it's a little noisy, but as you can see I'm standing here on the freeway overpass. It's around 8 o'clock on Sunday morning and right behind me here, this is the Cathedral of Our Lady of the Angels here in Los Angeles and the tower that you see there, the tower that you see right there, right below the tower in the basement just to the left just inside the back door of the cathedral itself is the mausoleum about a year or so ago i discovered that a very very famous actor is laid to rest or interred right there just feet away from the busy freeway that you see here this is the hollywood freeway and i've been wanting to come and visit his final resting place ever since I've discovered it but because it was 2020 the mausoleum and cathedral were pretty much closed to the public for the past year or so every time I called it said that it was pretty much not open to the public so I've been waiting and finally I called yesterday and it's now once again open to the public so I wanted to come here today while I had a chance to see if I could get in to visit his gravesite. Now, there's also two other famous people laid, here, laid to rest here. One of them I think I can also find, but the third person doesn't have any information about where she is located. And it turns out it's a pretty large mausoleum. You can see how large the cathedral is there. Most of the basement there is the mausoleum. So I'm going to look for her final resting place, but I'm not sure I'll be able to find her today. But I think I can find at least the other two. The security guard just told me that there are two different ways to get to the mausoleum. He said I could walk through the front door of the chapel and then follow the hallway or corridor all the way to the very back. Or I could just walk around to the back door through the courtyard here so I think I'm gonna do that so I can see a little bit more of the exterior but first I'll just continue panning around here so you can see just how large and impressive this courtyard is and you'd never know that you're just right next door to the freeway it's one of the newest cathedrals in Los Angeles and it's one of the largest in the world construction began back in 1997 and the dedication ceremony took place on September 2nd 2002 the back door to the cathedral is supposed to be just to the left of this tower here. Just inside the back door here are the stairs leading down to the mausoleum level. But the security guard said it's not open yet, so let's go take a look at the cathedral interior itself. It's around 7.45, so people are just starting to come in and wait for the 8 o'clock mass to start. This is much larger and much prettier than I was expecting from the outside. It's really beautiful and certainly not like any other cathedral that I've ever seen before. I can see why people come from all over the world to visit. It's kind of interesting how they also have it set up a little bit like an art gallery and a museum along the hallways. And I think my brother, who is Catholic, is definitely going to want to come to attend service the next time he's in town. Have any of you been here? Do any of you attend services here? Let's go check out the lower level and see if the mausoleum is open yet. Before coming today, I went to their website and downloaded their PDF map of the mausoleum. So I'm pretty sure I know exactly where the crypt that I'm looking for today is located. How many of you already know who I'm looking for today? And have any of you already been here to visit his final resting place? It's hard to believe that the freeway is just a few hundred feet on the other side of that stained glass window. But it's so peaceful and quiet and serene in here, you would never know. And even though this is very modern, it still feels very traditional. When I first heard that actor Gregory Peck was laid to rest here, I was kind of surprised and shocked, but now that I see it here in person, I totally get it. This really is an incredible mausoleum, and it's in one of the best locations in the world, but it feels like it could be anywhere. It's very awe-inspiring, but I guess that's the point. Gregory Peck was born in San Diego, California in 1916 and died here in Los Angeles on June 12, 2003 at the age of 87. He was one of the most popular movie stars in Hollywood from the 1940s through the 1960s and he's considered to be one of the greatest male stars of classic Hollywood. 
During his career, he earned five Academy Award nominations, and in 1962, he won the Best Actor Oscar for his role in the classic film To Kill a Mockingbird. The list of classic films that he appeared in is very long and impressive. He was married to his second wife, Veronique, for 48 years until his death. She lived to be 80 years old, dying in 2012. I'll continue to pan around so you can get a better idea of what this corridor looks like. The second person I'm here to visit today is someone every R Gang fan will probably remember. But she wasn't one of the kids. She was the beautiful young teacher that all the boys had a crush on. Remember Miss Crabtree? She was played by actress June Marlowe. To find Marlowe's crypt, instead of making a left-hand turn into the first hallway like I did to get to Gregory Peck's crypt, you just walk straight ahead down the central hallway to the very end. While attending Hollywood High School, Marlowe was spotted in a school play by director Malcolm St. Clair. She was signed a contract by Warner Brothers and billed as the most beautiful girl on the screen. Before long, she was appearing in the popular Ren Tin Tin movie serials. In the 1930s, she went to work for Hal Roach Studios in the role of Miss Crabtree, which cemented her spot in Hollywood film history. And even though film fans love Marlowe, Marlowe was not a big fan of Tinseltown and retired from show business in her 30s. She lived another 50 years, dying on March 10, 1984, at the age of 80 here in Los Angeles. And I'll pan around so you can see the entrance hallway where I came in. Now, according to her Find a Great Memorial page, actress Helen Wagner is also laid to rest here in this mausoleum, but I'm pretty sure that I've looked at every single crypt and niche here, and I haven't seen her name anywhere. So either she's in an unmarked space, or I just missed it, or her Find a Grave Memorial page is incorrect. If any of you happen to know, please share with us in the comments section. Wagner played Nancy Hughes in the popular daytime soap opera As the World Turns from 1956 until her death. She had the honor of speaking the very first words on the very first episode of the show back in April 2nd of 1956. And she holds the Guinness Book of World Records for the longest playing of a single role on TV. She lived to be 91 years old, dying on May 1st, 2010, in Mount Kisco, New York. Now I understand why Gregory Peck and June Marlowe and possibly Helen Wagner, why they all wanted to be laid to rest here. You never know you're in downtown Los Angeles, just feet away from the Roaring Freeway. I mean, it was nice because right after the service was over, quite a few of the people came downstairs to walk around the mausoleum and visit their loved ones or just sightsee, I guess. I'm not really sure. So it's very convenient. Not a lot of people, you know, visit cemeteries once you've laid your loved ones to rest. You know, maybe you go back once or twice a year, but here in a cathedral like this, if the mausoleum is downstairs, right after service, you can just go down and visit with them. This week, I want to thank my newest Patreon supporters, Jennifer Ball, Amy Cooper, and Susan Savage. Thank you so much, Jennifer, Amy, and Susan, for your generous donations to my channel. It really means a lot, and it does help make future trips like this possible. So, thanks for joining me once again, and I'll see you next time.